Hello guys and welcome to a Company Heroes 2 replay. This is me, Lee Joyx Spanner, showing you the finals of my Road to Glory tournament on Company Heroes 2. I hope you all enjoy it. This is between Sif Saji and Agony Push and Prince. So far, up to this is the finals. This is a two, so it was best of five, and at the moment it is 2-2 on either side. In blue, we have Sif Saji. Sif Sinjin, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize, Sif. In the blue is the Wehrmacht and, and Sister Soviets. We have Agony Prussian Prince. As we can see, both are, as you see at the profiles, these two are both very experienced players in the game and are evenly matched. As you can see, it's, a two -beat, it's been a 2v2. Uh, Prussian Prince has the Alen Lease Tactics Doctrine with the Dushka Heavy Machine Gun, the Allied Supply Drop. The Dushka is a very good machine gun and can beat any other machine gun in a head on, no matter what, almost in any situation. The Allied Supply Drop is very good for the fuel increase. The M5 half track support group is okay. The Conscript Repair Kit is good for repairing your tanks. And the M4C Sherman is an excellent medium tank and is better than the Panzer IV. For I Sif will go for the Lightning War Doctrine, very good Jaeger Light Infantry upgrades. Tactical movement is brilliant. The relief infantry can be useful if used correctly. The Stucker class air support can also be deadly versus tanks if used in the correct time. And the tiger tank is just good in general and will beat most of the heavy tanks on a one-on-one -on -one engagement. As we see, being quite aggressive with the Pioneers and the MG42 getting into a very nice position in the centre here. Just before the Pino Battalions get there, going to be able to suppress them very nicely. Trying to, Pino Battalions trying to get out the way, but just getting pinned at the edge of the radius. Just getting pinned behind the cover. Pino Battalion um, engineers try and flank it, but the pioneers sh sh happily fight them away. So giving giving Sif the early game advantage over centre here, which will play, which is a very good, which is very good for early game. So far, we seem that it seems that Pushing Prince is going for the Pino Battalions, and um, Sif is going to go for the Grenadiers, and hopefully they'll grade them with the. Or hopefully we'll upgrade them with the Jägerlite Infantry Recon upgrades, which is very good. Pioneers should win this fight against the very nicely against the uh, against the combat engineers. Couldn't think of the word then. However, the Pino battalions will force them back. However, the very good position for the MG42 will will stop pushing pushing in the center for the moment being. However, the Pino battalion has managed to get on the flank and managed to get into the building before the pioneers before the Grenadier squad could, which is very good. However. MG42 doing a great job in suppressing the enemy's assault. However, that Pino Battalion is going to be able to flank it, so it's going to have to retreat. Pino, uh, Pino Battalion versus the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers should hopefully win that due to the fact that it's the Grenadiers full health and the Pino Battalion's are. Pino Battalion, like I said, flank the MG42, forcing it to retreat. See if he's now capturing his right side supply points, giving him the giving him a hefty fuel. So far, it looks to me that Sif is slowly winning the early game um, economy, and now managed to get a good deal in that building as well. So securing the centre with both buildings, so you, so it's forcing pushing on the defensive once more. Peter Battalion's pushing on the left side to try and capture these two points that haven't been captured yet. Could have ridden into a pioneer, but nothing a Peter Battalion can't handle. Grenadier. I would personally think it would be better for an engineer, a pioneer's job to do this than, than, than a grenadier, but he might have been the only unit he had to hand. Grenadier coming out of that building to try and uh, take, go into heavy cover to take on the uh, en combat engineer very nicely. So, so far, as we can see, both units, both sides are very equal. The MG, the MG is always going to help safe early game. However, when pushing gets a Dushka out, we can easily turn the tides for the MG battles because the Dushka is a very, 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 very good and competent um, MG. There we go, Jaeger Light Infantry. So, I believe his, some of his infantry will be starting to upgrade to that very shortly, as we see this one here. In the building is going to be upgraded to the G43 rifles. Pioneer not doing anything at base. I'm not sure why he's doing that. I think he's upgrading the Battle Phase 2. Battle Phase 1, yep. So, and so he's going to build his secondary building there. MG42 just managed to get away by the skin of its teeth. And the building got killed by a satchel charge there. And the MG managed to just get out in a nick of time. So far, it's looking that the Pina Battalions are starting to put some pressure on the German infantry. However, the G43 rifle upgrades will be are doing the German infantry very doing wonders in the combat, and are actually are actually managing to kill quite a few penal battalions before they are forced to retreat. 
So I've gone into the I've gone into the follow camera now for Sif. See how he's doing and what he's doing and when he's doing it. Right now he's right now he's building infantry like that. And we'll scroll over to I believe I can scroll over to the yep. This is a more of a personal look to see what everybody else is doing. As we see on the centre, the uh, the Grenadier versus Penal Battalions. The Penal Battalions are starting to push the German infantry back now, which is to be which is to be expected. Penal Battalions are generally Grenadiers versus Penal Battalions. The Grenadiers with the G43 are better than Penal Battalions at a long range. Or with a close range, the Penal Battalions' fall action, I believe, will definitely rifles will definitely beat the Germans. MG42 just hitting the Penal Battalions out of range, and a scout car is coming up now. Is now coming up pretty nicely from. From Sif. Pioneers happily will beat the combat engineers on the left flank. It's very even right now. Uh, very even. It looks like with the scout car, hopefully Sif can pull it back. And as you see, with the rifle upgrades um, at long range, the the um, penal battalions will start winning the engagement against the rifles. It's like that it was in the building as well. MG's doing a good job. Armour piercing will be very good against the building, but he is getting after retreated to be due to the fact of the of his troops getting flanked by that penal battalion. However, that penal battalion is going to get pretty badly damaged now by the scout cars and the by the scout car and the two grenadier squad. As you see, lost almost almost more than half its unit in the escape there. Has is reversing into the enemy, which is quite strange by Sif over there. Oh, we'll look on the um, we'll look on a. Uh, Push and Prince aside right now, and we can see he is building a field infirmary to heal his troops when they retreat, which is very good. Something that Sif should be doing soon with a bunker with the medical supplies back at his base. But right now, I believe he needs munitions for upgrading his um, for upgrading his G43 rifles on his German infantry. Sif once again winning the engagement pretty nicely now in the central engagements. So if we look at Prussian Prince's army roster now, three penals and two engineers, so it's a bit, it's a bit on the edge now. Pack forty coming out by uh, Sif here, very good choice. Preparing for that Russian armor because Russian armor will eventually start to outnumber the German armor, so it's always good to have a couple of those really good pack forties in the mix as well. I uh, fast fast forward a little bit here as nothing much is happening. Big push in the big push in the center here. On the side on the left flank as both fuels are being decapped, but it looks like Prussian Prince is going to manage to retake his fuel back. It's going to take a safe while to retake his back as he has no troops in the nearby vicinity. Good rifle grenade by the look of it here. Doing some decent damage on the penal battalions over there, forcing them to retreat and use that building for that was just built, luckily. Be very careful when bringing in the scout car against those uh, peanut battalions with the upgraded. See, the new patch has been two sacks of charge. You've got the manual and the targeted. The targeted one will do heavy damage to structures and vehicles and nearby targets. The pro will generally stick to it. And both cost different amounts. So both cost the exact same amount. Another MG42 brought out by Sif. Very good for pinning up all this heavy Russian infantry right now. On the right flank, I think I'm gonna fast forward. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit because there's not much happening right now. A little bit of engagement going on now. So uh, centers big push going on. MG42 is heavily suppressing the Penal battalions, so it's a so it's forcing Prussian to be on the defensive once again. So it looks like overall Sif's got the slight advantage over Prussian, much bigger army as we can see. That is Sif's army. If we switch to Prussian Prince's army, you can see a massive difference. T70 is coming out, but it might be a little bit too late.
scout car is doing very good against the penal battalion there on the left side. Backed up with G43 rifles. So we're going to have to retreat, but the scout car should be able to happy force the penals to retreat. Resource wise, for now, both sides are equally. I think Sif has those extra two points down the bottom corner here and here. So we're slowly winning the supply war. Tactical movement is now available for the Sif, so he can start using that to get from A to B very quickly. Or it is a drain on your munitions, just which you might be needing to get the Stuka close air support in the future. And he's upgraded for his upgrades for his grenadiers. They're all becoming very, very vetted, as you can see. So we're about one third of the way through the game right now, and it looks like Sif is having a slight lead with the ticket counter and army build. This T70 could bring it around very nicely for push and print. Unluckily, hit the grave there and missed the first two shots with the all th all three shots on the T70 missed. Unfortunately, four shots missed, so it hasn't been having a good job there. No, it's not been very accurate lately with that C70. Good mine placement being built there with them by the uh, by Sif there. And it is pushing heavily on the right side to try and do some damage to um, to, to a Prussian Prince's economy. Mines are also being built on the left side by Prussian Prince to try and hamper the offensive that will be the counter offensive that will be pushed on the left side after the unit has been retaken. Both sides are fighting very equally now. And equal armies are roughly around. Massive Soviet blob on the left side. Need to be careful of that. Well placed grenades can massively damage that. I would push the scout car forward and try and hit that T70 on the side a little bit. And with armor piercing rounds in the MG42, we would also do some good damage to it as well. But unfortunately, T70 managed to kill the building with the T17, which is really, really unlucky. Some good shots by the scout car though on the T70. T70 missing both shots, that T70 is probably the one of the most inaccurate T70s I've ever seen in this entire game. Now I've got the Ostrogon Relief Infantry ready, but I uh, don't think you'll need to use that at the moment. Dushko on the field though now, for the first Dushko on the field, this could really start hampering... Uh, this could really start damaging Sif's elite infantry, if it's not careful about it. Again, T70 missed the first shot, finally got the second shot hit. The scout car is doing a nice amount of damage to it, and a pack gun shot heavily damages the light tank. But right now, by the look of it, the one more shot from the T, one more shot from the pack gun, but unfortunately the pack gun misses, and the grenadiers have been pinned. And those those penal those penal battalions are going to force the scout car to pull out of the fall without losing it. Penal battalions try and push, but no, it's not, not going to push through two grenadier squads like that. Dushka having decent supremacy. I would personally push the Dushka a little bit further forward towards the wall to get that heavy cover. Which he is trying to do now. But he, but he needs to be very careful if he doesn't clump up all these troops. If he clumps it all up here, a rifle grenade can happily do a lot of damage to it. Here the T70 on the left flank, so it's on both sides still equal resource wise, and there's another Dushka on the left side here. MG42 starts firing first and we'll get the early win, but the Dushka, even though it's been taking damage early on, will happily fire back. The Dushka has native ar has armor piercing rounds without even veterans, so he can start doing a lot of damage. As we'll see here. Dushka on the right flank, there's gonna be an amazing rifle grenade going on here. And as you see with a clump, kills almost the entire squad and with the MG fire I think the Dushka gets killed. But before Agony can remanage with that being a battalion there, he gets pinned by the MG forty two and I believe He's got like a squad out of there, and I believe he gets Sif gets out of there with a brand spanking new Dushka. Very lucky that two star Grenadiers didn't die there as well, actually. But he's pushing the T70, hoping to try and kill, but the T70 again still being very inaccurate. Finally getting a hit there. Repositioning the pack 40 to try and stop him. So these retreats. Shot miss. If that shot hit the, the it would have won, but he managed to just get away with the just get away with the um, Dushka over there. On the right flank, the army piercing rounds would be doing decent here. I believe he is remount. I don't believe he no, he's not using armor piercing. Army piercing will do decent work against the T70. He won't kill it entirely, but it will sort of take some of its hit points down and think, think, make itself think twice before sorting them do armor piercing. Scout cut anti T70 both at a star. AT good shot misses. A lot of shots being missed by that AT gun and that T70. So accuracy, unfortunately, on both sides is being 
Bun very unlucky. Flame for being very well used through the cover. He can't shoot back as well. It looks like Push Punch is in the has got the is in the position of doing better at the moment. However, the Sif is nowhere near out of this fight and can easily start pushing back. Especially that Panzer Four now, he can easily start turning the tide as there is no Russian army yet on the field apart from T70, as you can see. If you look on the left side, though, Push Prince is pushing again the same way the Sif's been doing and stopping and just, ham just slowly hampering each other's resources as well. Two, two peanut battalions have been sent on the right flank to try and deal with the Panzer IV with the T70 support, but the Panzer IV with the Scout Car is going to be plenty to deal with that. As we can see, the T70 is not even managing to penetrate the Panzer IV's armour. I have to admit that Flame 4 unit there is doing an excellent job with 8 kills in its name so far. And and another Dushka has been killed, but luckily quickly remanned by the Engineer Squad, which could have died. Which also, if, as we can see, the Dushka could have died very easily on this one as well if it wasn't for a satchel charge being thrown that managed to make it get away. So it's cost it's costing 45 munitions to uh, help him get a range. T70 got lucky that it was building there, and the Panzer IV should be able to take on those peanut battalions very nicely. He's using his engine. He's he is using his pioneers very effectively. The flame for one is doing a lot better than uh, the other one with the flame with the mines. We that's purely there just to sweep mines, and I think he swept that mine and killed. Got that way. Dushka, another Dushka on the right side. Let's have a look at them. Um, Agony Pusher Prince's roster. Two Dushkas, very expensive. Need to make sure he doesn't lose another one like he did to uh, Sif in the early game. There, it's going to be very helpful that Dushka. Now, especially with his native armor piercing rounds, only cost 50 munition. Dushka with armor piercing rounds can happily take down a T70 on his own. I believe, due to its heavy calibre rounds. The left side, Push and Prince is um, sorry, Sif is taking Push and Prince fuel again, which is going to help definitely help him a little bit to uh, boost up his fuel whilst reducing Push and fuel by a significant amount. As we can see now, 795 fuel, 535 manpower, and 60, 295 manpower wise. Push and Prince, however, is holding that fuel and holding that munitions. Munitions, he, he can be using munitions a lot better than how he's using it right now. Up, he can be upgrading more penal battalions, he can be throwing a lot more grenades, a lot more satchel charges. Satchel charge here, for example, would be pretty good. A satchel charge here would be pretty devastating. And 223 fuel is a bit, he should be starting to build some stuff with that. But I believe he is saving up for the M4C Sherman, which is understandable, but still, he needs to stop holding those munitions and start throwing a lot more grenades. Bring in a couple of conscripts if he wants, upgrade them with. Um, Upgrade them to have the Molotovs and start using the Molotovs so using the anti-tank grenades. It just generally does better that way. Especially with the Sif, like Sif over here is doing a lot better with his infantry. It's all elite and it's all upgraded. Or very little of these peanut battalions have been upgraded. That's why they are losing in combat. Quite a have Dushkalo doing a good job and we've been putting our that Sue has now been put in artillery mode, I believe, and it's got started in the center. The heavy tank base, heavy tank or medium tank base, I believe this is near the support armor core with the Stoke and the Panzer IV is being built and the heavy Panzer core is being built now as well. Which I don't think he should be doing. If he wants to save up for that Tiger, he should be getting Panzer IVs. I know he should get really another Panzer IV into the building that's heavy command because instead of a Panther, a Tiger with Panzer IVs is very decent and will be able to beat the majority of the stuff the Soviets send at them. Again, taking, taking the fuel again on the left side. Taking that, just, just reducing Prussian's fuel, even though he has been hoarding it the entire game, and not been using these munitions at all. Like just simple things like using armor piercing rounds in these Dushkas to improve the amount of damage they will do is just a very easy way to start using up those munitions. T7, uh, T Panzer IV going for the T78. First shot is a, mi a miss, but still managed to do quite a bit of damage. We're going to have to get out of there because of that. So we'll start doing some damage to that. Panzer IV, and even the T70 getting the PS in there as well, and luckily surviving after a missed shot for a damaged engine. Very, that Panzer IV is very deadly damaged, but does escape from the Sioux miraculously due to the missed shot there, which I believe was very lucky. However, he has pushed the Sioux too far in, and there is going to be a Panzer Shrek coming for that now, as we can see. There we go. So he's not got two tanks, damaged engines. And I believe Prussian Prince, let's have a look, is not too far away from getting these M4C Shermans. There we go. First one on the field now. 
They need to be able to get two of them with the fuel he's got saved up right now at this moment in time. Two star scout car, you don't usually see that much to be honest, which is pretty well. At this point now, I think another pack gun that is in a clear. The one thing I don't get what he's done, he's decided to build a Panzerwerfer. A Panzerwerfer is good if there's all the massive blobs of infantry and he has been doing that a bit. But now you now that you're starting to see the Shermans on the MC Shermans on the field, the fuel should be better spent a lot better elsewhere in my opinion. So pushing the M4C Sherman to his base with his a Panzer IV there. It's a very dangerous move to make. As we see, there's going to be a Panzer Shrek here, taking, doing a lot of damage. And you see, that's on 70% of his health. That's on very little health there. And look, two shots take on half this Panzer IV's armor. Panzer IV is really, really, really struggling to take on this. Uh, very struggling to take on this. And as we see, the M4C Sherman manages to get away with a sliver of health left. So he got very he got very lucky in that perspective over there. In the center, MG42 holding down the center, but armor wise is going heavily in is going heavily in Prussians' favour right now. The game is about 60 way percent through now and Sif is winning the points here, but right now the army wise is heavily in Prussians' favour. Prussian has got a lot of armor on the field right now. And he can happily just do it. Well, at least a bit of tide. <laughs> can happily dominate the entire map by the look of this as well. I also do apologise for not posting a lot of content on the moment. I've been very busy and my recording equipment has been giving me the fritz a bit now and then. Fans of effort coming in for a shot and missing. So that's it. you've lost his pencil for this. The only army he's got on the field and. It's good, but it's, it can't take out armor. It's going to take out the infantry. A bad, cho a bad choice at this stage in the game, in my opinion. Another Panzer IV out first. Because if there was two Panzer IVs instead of that, that Panzer Effer, that Panzer IV would have died and that Sherman would have died. And it would have been a completely different ball game altogether. And then get the Panzer Effer after, two, after you've got two um, Panzer IVs, by all means. Dushka pushing them back heavily. But there is a Dushka in the center. Sorry, not an MG42. A Dushka in the center holding off pretty nicely as well. As we see on the left, as we can see on the left flank, massive push by the thing, and there is a Stucker close air support coming, which is available as well. So if he uses that correctly, he can do quite a bit of damage over there. MG42 losing to the Dushka as expected, and another Pack 4 he's been brought onto the field. And the the Gerdies are trying their best to do some damage to this. They should really push straight up and take out that that Sherman there, but I believe. He hasn't spotted it on that sliver of hell. All of these tanks are very badly damaged and need to have engineers over there as soon as possible. But I say he's, if he had a, one stug, could just one stug or one Panzer IV could just happily could come up and just clean up all of that armor up pretty nicely. Good flank on the Dushka, resecuring center pretty nicely now. As in the points war, even though he's losing, even though that Prussian does have the better army right now, Sif has slow has still been managing to keep up the offensive, keep on pushing him. All these armor is badly damaged and needs to do so that's gonna be out of action for a little bit until he gets healed. He has got engineers working overtime on his tank of course. But as we can see that it's just uh pushing is not is pushing is still losing land here as we can see here and a mine's being built here. It's cutting off resources to all this as well as we can see. How much less He's making, and I believe he's not far away from getting another M4C Sherman. So that means three, two, two M4C Shermans, a T70, and a Su in the field right now as well. Those Duskers, though, he really likes those Duskers, and he's using them to great effect. Apart from the early game one, he accidentally lost, which is a really, which is a really big shame. I'm gonna have to fast. I'm gonna fast forward it for a bit because not much is happening. Well, he's got his secondary M4C. I'll switch back over to Sif's side of the field. There's a lot of repositioning right now and the capturing over there. A little bit of a skirmish going on here and the camera for not doing what you're going to missing. Pushing here and he meets the entire might. Most of his armor is rebuilt now and I think an armor push is coming heavily on the left side. So I will change it down to normal now. He is setting up a couple of defences right there with a pack gun here as well in the medium cover covering this part of the field as well. That Dushka coming though is going to force the side to retreat. Another pack. This pack in my opinion should be moved to over here. 
Just trying, because he knows now a lot of the armor's over here. See, if we look at Fog of War, push it, Sif can't, Sif can only start seeing the armor now. And now sees it all, so the minute he's now seeing this, he should now be repositioning this pack 40 into a better position. Great shot to the Sioux, and the Sioux is almost dead, but the Sioux has been forced to retreat. As well as that, as well as that two-star pack 40, which is getting harassed. I believe this is when he's going to start using his Stucker, there we go. Great positioning. Should have been a bit more south, but it will do very nicely, as we can see. The strafing will start doing mass bonds. He is pushing the base, which I don't understand why. And as we see, we you know, the, the armor is not very good on top, and the Stucker supports will start heavily damaging. Heavily, heavily damaging the armor. As we see, that's one. He's lost one M4C Sherman off the bat right now. He's got another one of three heavy, pretty nice full end, but that one's not far away from dying as well. And has finished the kill of the Pat 40, so it can't be remanned. Another Panzer Shrek coming, I believe. Yep, Panzer Shrek coming. That engine's dead now, it's not going to get out of there. The Strafe has managed to kill the other, the other, M, the other Su, and so there's only a T70 in there, and a half damaged. And a half damaged M4C Sherman. He has bringing out another M4C Sherman that needs to get down there as soon as possible. But the pack guns and the pack guns and the constant the constant Panzer Faust by the infantry is just uh, is stop is making it really hard for the tanks to reposition away from the make it very difficult for it to reposition. He is trying to push the infantry to support, but the bunkers from the base are just stopping that coming in. And as you see, he's going to lose another. There we go, and he's lost another. He's lost three tanks, no four tanks in that assault. And all, a lot of his infantry has been pushed back. Uh, he did. An all real, the only thing really that Sif lost was really one squad of elite, one squad of highly ranked infantry, and a couple of AT guns. So really, fuel-wise, took a massive hit. And now Sif's got a stock for all the fuel, and he is saving up the manpower for that tiger, and he's going to bring that out and hopefully, hopefully use it to great effect against the massively devastated. Pushing has push managed to seize a lot of land here, so he can gain some resources back quickly if he can hold on to it for a little bit before that tiger comes out. However, Sif's using his elite infantry, and I believe, if we look at this here, a two, star, a three star almost dies there. Great use of a satchel charge, should be doing this more often with his things, and bye bye Dushka. A Dushka that got taken back has finally been killed, but easily remandable, so, so I believe he might reman that. Damaged. Damaged M4C Sherman in the centre, must have got a Panzer Shrek on it. Oh, I think it went over a mine actually in the centre. Went over two mines and lost half of its health. So he needs to pull that all the way back to base. Now, especially now the King Tiger, especially now the Tiger's out on the field. I believe the Tiger is going to make a beeline. Biggest mistake here is, as we can see, he's fired four shots against the infantry and only one against the tank. If you put that on prioritized vehicle only, which he's finally done now, um, he can actually stop doing it. But there has, there has been a uh, satchel charge by the by the penal battalions and as we see here the Ken with a shot coming in and look at the amount of damage that does against the infantry that has just gotten 17 kills and it's finally repaired itself in the long term it's finally been effective I would prefer to have that later but he's made up for that bar by that great hit on the enemy base a bit of a scummy move to make but it was very well used and has really that's got a really put a nail in pushing Prince's carving right now Pusher Prince is really struggling, doesn't have much in the field left, and now Sif is starting to regain land pretty nicely now, and it's cut him off to stop him getting resources now, and now he's just going to slowly come. There's not much happening over here, Tiger's going to come and happily take out the uh, heavy artillery gun. Another tank, I think, I believe this, this, the, M, the M4C has been healed as well with another one on the field. It's coming here close to the end of the game now, and I'll fast forward a little bit. As you can see, there's not really much. There's not much now that Sif can do. It's not. There's not much now. Sorry, pushing could do against Sif. Sif has a tiger on the field with a decent amount of elite infantry backed up with a Panzer of effort to deal with the infantry. And there's even, I believe, there's a Panzer. Was that Stuggy was trying to build? Or oh, Panzer IV maybe coming on the field soon? I believe he's chosen to save up the Panzer IV. Great hit for the Panzer of effort again, pinning both those infantry down. I believe he's not far away. See, he's not far away from a Panzer IV. And there we go, Panzer IV is coming out now. So a Panzer IV with the Tiger is easy going to beat those now. And he's almost got enough munitions for a Stugger Crescent support again. So we'll uh, fast forward in a little bit. 
because he's getting a lot. Look at look how many munitions he's getting in right now. As we can see, Sherman's on the side. Gonna go, gonna come in to prioritize vehicles to try and do that. Great mind there, great mind there by uh, pushing, stopping the infantry from supporting. That tag is now on the defensive, but the Stucker is coming in. The Stuckers are going to come in now, and my, and mine has been hit by on the. And the stuck close air support is going to come in and destroy one of the Shermans and damage the other one. Hands of Earth has died, unfortunately, but did get his money back near the end there. Great shot then. Both managed to pierce and both staring each other directly in the face. Showing its rear armor to a Sherman, that's not a good idea. And that shot has been missed. And it looks like the. It looks like the M4C is just going to be able to take out the Sherman, and there he is. But as you see, the Panzer IV is out of control, and this is too much. This is too. There's just too much on the field for that safe has, and there's not enough tickets left on the field for Prussian. Very, very well fought from both players. Fought very hard. Fought very valiantly. Thank you both for playing in the tournament. Winner. The winner was Sif, and won the £10 Steam voucher prize. Hopefully, I'll be bringing out more content for my new. Go to Glory, Company Vs 2 tournament, and I will be doing maybe a Warm 2 or Warhammer tournament after that. I could bring you content, guys, with it. If you like the video, please give us, please give me a like, and if you if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe, and there'll be more con more regular content. As we can see here, uh, 10 tickets left. There's not much pushing could really do now. You've been in a valiant fight, threw it away, unfortunately, with the threw it on threw it away, unfortunately, with the assault on the base. Very good on both sides. Played very, very valiantly. Great game from both of them. Best game, best game in the tournament that I, I personally have watched. Uh, if you want to watch the upcoming tournament that's on the go now, uh, stream it. There will be a few people streaming it. Uh, be pushing print streaming. Hopefully, a couple of games on Yeager and he'll stream a couple of games. So uh, there's the overview, guys, of the damage dealt and the the graphs on both times. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and have a good day. This is Lee Jr. Lee Jr. signing off. See you later, guys.